Yo, what is up, Raw Tards? Raw here, and in today's video, we're going to be doing some Here Be Monsters AA. This has been a topic I've been hearing quite a bit about lately in line chats and stuff like that. People saying that you absolutely need Scatter to get through Here Be Monsters AA, and I'm here today to tell you that it is simply not true. You do not need Scatter in any form. You don't need it in Crest, you don't need it as your main talent, you do not need a Multanica with 8 Scatter and 80 points of Scatter and all this stuff that I keep hearing, you just don't need it. What you do need is a hero like Grimfiend or Arctica. Obviously more people are going to have Grimfiend than Arctica, seeing as Arctica is an event only hero, but Grimfiend I think is the better choice in the long run anyways, so if you do have a Grimfiend, and yes mine right here is kind of strong, but it does not really matter because on one of my other accounts I beat it with a really weak Grim Fiend. I mean like single evolved level 180 with not a good talent and stuff like that and it was just easy. And why Grim Fiend is important is because he is going to remove the uh, deflect damage shield on the demon in uh, AA5. So that's mainly what we're going to be using Grimfiend for and he's really good at clearing out heroes as well and clearing out waves with his proc. Just an all around great hero for Hear Me Monsters. Alright, let's go through the lineup and I'm going to show you guys what heroes I am going to be using for this video. We have Vlad Dracula, 10 of 10, 8 of 8 War God. We have Pumpkin Duke with Berserk, 10 of 10. Yes, all my heroes are 10 of 10. Another key hero to this setup is Ares. You absolutely need Ares. Uh, I actually got into an argument with somebody uh, saying that using Ares is considered scatter, which in my opinion, it is not scatter because the it it's hard to explain. It's just not scatter. You're using the hero's uh, skill not a talent or a crest. So I don't think it's scatter. It does not have built-in scatter like Pixie. So I'm not going to consider Ares being scatter one bit. But what Ares is going to do is what Ares does best, and that's make sure heroes do not proc and the enemy does not proc throughout the waves. He's really good for controlling the Atlanticore, which if you let Atlanticore get into your base and put his shield up, it's pretty much a done deal. You're going to die very quickly, especially when you're using Pumpkin Duke. All right, guys, next we have Ghoulam, and Ghoulam is pretty important too to keep your heroes alive. Some people have used Druid, so if you do not have a Ghoulam, which I'm pretty sure if you're trying AA, you most likely do, you can use Druid in place of Ghoulam. The next hero is going to be Valentina. We're going to be using Valentina to get Pumpkin Duke all stacked up nice and pretty really quickly as well as uh, letting our heroes go into new waves full of energy. Those are the heroes we are going to use in this video. Let's take a look at the altar just so I can show you guys what crests I have on these heroes. Pumpkin Duke, I went with Revive just in case something happens. You definitely need your Pumpkin Duke on wave AA5 or it's just not going to work. Alright, next we have Ares. We're also going to be rocking a Revive Crest set on him just because he's important as well. Also, Ares for Revive uh, Crest set on him as well as Vlad Dracula, the same thing. As you can see a trend here, I am running a lot of Revive just to make sure in case something does happen and I lose a hero that it's not going to hurt me in the long run. Ghoulam also Revive Crest set 4. Then we have Valentina with Revive 3. So pretty much every hero is going to be using a Revive Crest set except for Grim Fiend, which I have level 5 Life Drain Crests on. Alright guys, as far as artifacts go, I do have Ares and Ghoulam in Victor's Emblem. And then in Goblet of Life, I have Vlad Dracula, Pumpkin Duke, and Valentina. I do not have them in Blitz, as you can see. And then, it, this is really important in my opinion. Putting Grimfiend in Eye of Garuda and having him in the spot I have him in really helps out. Especially when waves get down below. He's going to make sure nothing's proccing also. And then once he starts beating on the demon, he is really good to go. Uh, this was my favorite choice for Eye of Garuda. You definitely want to have one hero at least in Eye of Garuda. And I have my Grim Fiend in the top left corner of this base. You kind of, he's got a really high range, so you want him on the top for sure. And you want him all the way over to one side because as, you know, heroes are coming down this side of the base, he can just hit them really quickly, put that Garuda on him, and then just start wiping them out with his proc. So that's the setup I'm using. This is the base right here. This is a Olaf Biggles base, I'm pretty sure. 
and uh, people are using it for Hero Me Monsters AF that just came out. But we're just this is gonna be the first time I'm trying it on Hero Me Monsters AA, as well as the first time I'm doing this in quite a while. So we will see if how many tries it takes. Uh, back in the day, I tried Hero Me Monsters AA a numerous amount of times. So we're gonna see how long it takes here, and let's jump into the action and see if we can get. Here we monsters AA down for you guys using no scatter whatsoever. And just so I don't forget, in totems it doesn't really matter too much, but I do have Trixie Treat in the totem as well as uh, Revenant, which I was just playing around with. I accidentally left him in there, so he wasn't actually meant to be in there. But let's see what he does. Deals 270% attack damage to five nearby targets, inflicting stun for three seconds. So a pretty long stun there when that totem is triggered. So just for the sake of the video, I thought I'd let you guys know. Let's jump into the first wave here. I've only tried AF one time so far. I made it to AF2 and then got wrecked by Demogorgon. So we're just gonna go to AA1 and start it up. The first side of the wave is in the back of my base. Let's see if we can get a Vlad Prak to uh, go ahead and clear all those heroes out, which we did. Very nice. As you can see, I'm using six magic towers, and they are almost fully garrisoned, but not quite. There's a couple level six garrison in there, blue and green. So the other half of this wave is up top, going to be clearing all my buildings. And hopefully they get it done pretty quickly. That's going to be good because the next couple waves will not have uh, any buildings up top to distract the hero, so, so it should go a lot quicker. And there's no like uh, global proc heroes up there like Reaper or anything that are going to be uh, destroying me besides Pixie. But if she procs, it's not really a big deal. All right, they're going to be coming on the left side of my base here. And we're going to get to see Grimfiend and what he brings to the table having him on the outside of this base. He's got a lot of range, so he doesn't have to hop the wall at all. He can, he can hit over uh, four squares of wall there. And then we have Ares who can hit over three, so he's going to be taking out some uh, heroes as well. There goes the Pixie. It's going to be a little slow with the Magic Towers. It's going to hold up some stuff. The heroes aren't going to move. They're not going to get into my base quick enough. So A1 is almost down, or AA1 is almost down. Pumpkin Duke's going out there. There we go. All right, so that's AA1. I'm going to move into AA2 and hopefully this goes just as well. We're going to get a double left corner spawn. So they're going to filter into the base all at once. Magic Towers are hopefully going to take out those choppers. I call them choppers. Alright, we got, we're got. we going to get a Vlad proc here and then it's going to be lights out for everybody. That Atlanta core is going to be dead soon. There we go. Alright, so that was a pretty quick one. AA2 down. Moving into AA3, we're going to get a left side spawn and a top left spawn. This one has Multanica coming over the walls. Alright, so they got to go around my trees, which is pretty awesome. And then uh, Vlad's going to go... <laughs> Did you see Vlad just wreck everything up top? Man, I love Vlad sometimes. 8 of 8 War God is crazy on him. Crazy! All right, Grimfiend's going crazy. Ares is going crazy. We have a champion left. He's going to be stuck up there getting uh, perma stunned by my towers. So far, AA3 is going to be down, and we've only lost one tower, which is really good also. And there it is. AA3 down, baby. Going into AA4, there's going to be a uh, boss in this one too. So there we go. We got a back spawn. There's a Vlad proc. Going to take him out. And we have a left side flyer spawn. So there we go. Centaur Chieftain is going to be coming into our base. He will switch targets sometimes. Hopefully he does not switch to my Pumpkin Duke. That would be really bad. We still have the Atlanticore. Atlanticore just got uh, Ares Calamity and Eye of Garuda. So he wasn't proccing for anything. And this boss should be done. There it is, guys. AA4. Making it look easy with this base. AA5 down. Oh, it's a back spawn. This is going to be good. This is probably way better than him coming over the walls. So I think we got most of the heroes taken out that were around him. We haven't lost any heroes yet. And he is getting melted. Holy crap. He is his health is going down so quick. There it is. There's the demon. 
And as you can see with uh, Grim Fiends in Eye of Garuda and Ares, and then uh, Grim Fiends debuff, the demon doesn't really do anything. He just gets wrecked. Now that was a little bit of a different point of view because it did spawn right inside my base. But there you go, guys. Here be Monsters AA. Not one thing of scatter, not even a scatter talent, not a scatter crest, nothing. Not a hero with built-in scatter. And there you go. Now, my heroes are a little strong. They're all 10 of 10, but I will assure you guys that I did this on a lower account the same way. Might take a couple more tries. This was the first try with this base. So I would recommend if you have the maxed out Town Hall to try this base out. It is really good. All right, guys, if you have any other questions, don't forget to ask down in the comment section. Thanks as always for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. If you are in America, have a great Thanksgiving. Stay safe and uh, stay raw, baby.